Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Place Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The important news and editorial that will be relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 6th of March, the first important news that India hold a conference of global intelligence chief. We'll see the detail about that. Second, United Nations secure pact to protect marine life in high seas, something important both for prelims as well as for the mains examination. Rajasthan power lines installations straight and bursted. This is something concerning. The second last, that is China defense budget up eighth consecutive year. We'll see a comparison between the other countries also. And the last is an editorial, the hardship of a career in Ayurvedic practice. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I begin the session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. And I'm glad to inform you about the UPSC CSC integrated test series. This is for all the aspirant who will be appearing for this year. This is a combined test series, integrated test series that will cater both the prelims and mains examination requirement. Total 30 prelims test plus 8 mains all India level test will be there. The test on the PIQ that will be based on current affairs, CSAT and full length test. Free current affair magazine, popularly our magazine known as IES Gazetted Magazine will be provided to you. Free mentorship will also be there and flexible date and schedule as per the convenient of the aspirant will also be provided. For more details, many video ke description my link there. Do check it out, register yourself and for any further queries, you can reach out to us or even reach out to our website. So this is all about the UPSC CHC integrated test series. Now starting our discussion. The first about India hold a conference of global intelligence chief, something important for general studies paper two, that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India in affecting India's interest. So recently India has held second conference on intelligence. This is the second conference that India has organized on 1st March. We saw the participations over 26 countries and it is being assumed that India secretly before the part of the Raizena dialogue has come up with this conference, right? And it, most of the, only the participant country were a part of this. Now the conference has witnessed the participations of security chief and the top officials around the world, basically the 26 country ke participants. Hai. While United States was absent in the conference, intelligence chiefs from United Kingdom, France and Japan and Bahrain has attended the conference which is more a part of a price in a time. Now focus area, ki agar baat kare, the focus area for the intelligence conference include global security, which will encapsulate the part of counter terrorism, radicalizations, drugs trafficking and illegal arm smuggling. So these are the things that focus di gai at the global level. If required, a consensus would be made and a law would be passed. Now rationale of the conference, Definitely, uh, though the conference of the global intelligence chief, India is trying to make a presence felt by bringing together the global intelligence agencies for exchange of issues and common concern. If you see, India is the current G20 chair and India want to use this opportunity at the global forum where it want to forecast that we are more concerned about every aspect that concerning at the global level, be it its environment concern, be it its it's a global intelligence security ya fir international diaspora ki baat ho. So this is a platform where India would be forecasting it priority. So these were the main rationale to even confer the idea that global intelligence is something is a priority. Now about the security conference, I briefly baat kare. So this conference was organized by the country's external intelligence agencies, jo ki rohe, research and analysis wing. Or National Security Council Secretary, which reports to the National Security Advisor. Ko. So this can be again a question for the prelims examination. Now the conference was held for the first time in April 2022, a day before the Raisona dialogue, and India's flagship conference on geopolitics and geostrategy was there. 
So it organized by the Ministry of External Affairs in collaborations with the Observer Research Foundation. So Raisin and Dialogue is being organized by these two organizations in India. So the Ministry of External Affairs and Observer Research Foundation se dono mil ke isko collaborate ke. Sometimes a direct question is also expected. Now the conference comes after the war in Ukraine that is still ongoing or global attention has reached ko le karke. India has been flaking other global issues including Afghanistan. Jahan tak India ki stand ki baat kare. यूक्रेन में वोटिंग को लेकर के इंडिया हैज बीन एब्सटेनिंग ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द वोटिंग वेदर इट इज यूएनएससी या और कोई भी काउंसिल बिकॉज फॉर रशियाज नो इंडियाज रशिया रिलेशन वी हैव लॉट मोर ऑब्लिगेशन राइट तो वो बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें हैं जियो पॉलिटिकल लेवल बायोलिटल लेवल पे जिस वजह से इंडिया डायरेक्ट स्टैंड नहीं ले सकती इस कंटेक्स ना मूविंग टू दर न्यूज नेशनल सिक्योर पार्क टू प्रोटेक्ट मरीन लाइफ इन द हाई सी समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू That is the conservation, environmental pollutions, degradation, and EIA. So, a major breakthrough. Mein, for the first time, the United Nations members have agreed on the managing the conservation. And this is a very important and significant effort so at global level, which will be making a consensus where all countries are looking forward for conserving the part of the biodiversity. So, it was a long-awaited step where environmental group have says that this will reverse the marine biodiversity losses. and will ensure the sustainable development of the biodiversity specifically the marine biodiversity now background ki agar baat kare ek updated framework aayi thi to protect the marine life in the region outside the national boundary water known as high seas has been on a decision for past 20 years but isme koi aise conclusive uh, basically ab baat kare output ki it was not there so the previous effort has not been agreed or is a bar bar repeatedly it was on discussion but there's no conclusive efforts that was made now this agreement which was recently passed by the un as a legal binding this is something important for both prelims and mains examination aapse doro sawal puche ja sakte the united nullified treaty to protect the biodiversity in high seas is a legally binding agreement which aims to conserve and ensure the sustainable use of ocean biodiversity aur treaty ke andar comprehensive protections of endangered species ki plan banayi gayi hai unke habitat ke liye plan banayi gayi so that a final positions uh, and like if you see take into account on the other part finally possibly that more than 40% of the earth surface is there with this endangered species right treaty also established ground rule for conducting environmental impact assessment jise eia bhi kehte hain and commercial activities in the oceans so anything if any activities that is taking place uski post assessment ki jayegi environmental impact assessment kiye jayenge to understand what are the negative consequences that that particular activity has made now a new body has been formed for managing the conservation jab kisi bhi cheez ke ek legal backing milti hai if you get the you know, sanctity of an organization to ye sari jo proper procedures hai wo follow hoti hai usi context mein ek managing conservation body banayi gayi hai jo unified treaty hai that aims to protect the high seas that will create a new body to manage the conservation of ocean life and establish a marine protected area on high seas so this is the biggest advantage with the treaty which was long pending now it will call for a supervision and the supervision will be made by a conservation body it is critical to achieve the un biodiversity conference pledge to protect 30% of the planet water and well tried for land and for the conservations another news rajasthan power lines installation threaten the great indian busted something important for general studies paper 2 that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementation it is also important for general studies paper 3 where conservation environmental pollutions and ei is concerned so in order to explore the ways to protect the great indian buster yahan pe jo center electricity authority is cea bhi kehte hain they have said that and propose that the line below the 33 kv volt need to be undergone and the rest to be fitted with the birds diverter this is what the ruling by the center electricity authority is there or just draft ka naam hai center electricity authority construction of electric line in the great indian busted area regulation 2023 that was passed now this passage of the draft has led the controversy 
और इस कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी में जो एक जो कंजर्वेस्ट हैं इवन जो एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट हैं उन्होंने कहा है दैट सी की जो मूव है दैट कुड नो इवन फर्दर क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम फॉर द ग्रेट इंडियन बर्स्टेड और उनकी एक्सटेंशन हो सकती है इस तरह के डिसीजन पे द प्रपोजल वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द रेगुलेशन इशूड ऑन फर्स्ट फेबर विच वॉज ओपन फॉर द पब्लिक कमेंट टिल मार्च थर्ड Now, क्या कंसर्न है इस पर्टिकुलर बेसिकली ऑर्डर को लेकर के द हाई टेंशन पावर की बात करें राजस्थान में एंड गुजरात फॉर द सोलर पावर प्लांट लाइज ऑन द फ्लाइट पाथ ऑफ द बर्ड्स राइट आई शोन यू दिस इमेज दिस इज अ फ्लाइट पाथ यू कैन सी दीज आर द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन वेर इट कैन एक्चुअली इम्पैक्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रो ऑप्शन कैन टेक प्लेस राइट सो हाई टेंशन लाइन और राजस्थान और गुजरात की बात करें दिस कैब ओफन ऑफ इन द फ्लाइट पाथ रिजल्टिंग इन द जी आई बी फॉर इलेक्ट्रो क्वेश्चन ऑफ द बर्ड and the matter is of a particular concern because future's bird fewer than 150 has been only remaining aur jo inki existing conservation hai un pe dhyan dene ki zarurat hai this decision will definitely impact the overall strength of the great indian bird jo puri numbers hai unme bhi gravity dekhi ja sakti the poor vision with the high body mass gib are vulnerable to the collisions of the power lines and a significant population dies each year due to such accidents सुप्रीम कोर्ट की भी डायरेक्टिव्स है इस रिकॉर्ड में 2019 में कुछ इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट ने अप्रोच किया सुप्रीम कोर्ट को और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने डायरेक्ट किया दैट लो वोल्टेज पावर लाइन इन द एरिया शुड बी डीमार्केटेड और जो प्रायोरिटीज एरियाज हैं ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टेड के उनसे उनमें इस तरह की इंस्टॉलेशन को रोकथाम की जाने की जरूरत है एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पावर लाइन इन द राजस्थान सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट आर रेटिंग एट द थर्टी थ्री किलो वोट एंड सेवरल किलो वोल्ट एक्चुअली एंड सच प्रपोज द पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड लाइन जहां पर प्रायोरिटी एरिया से हटा के रखने की बात की है बट अगेन दिस डिसीजन इज अगेन काउंटरी टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिसीजन द कोर्ट वुड हैव टू रिक्वायर सी सेवरल एग्जिस्टिंग प्रपोज लाइन मोर अंडर गोइंग एंड हाइकिंग द कॉस्ट फॉर द सप्लाई ऑफ पावर सो सी वी कैन नॉट इम्पैक्ट द पार्ट ऑफ द बायोडाइवर्सिटी फॉर एनी डेवलपमेंट हमें बायोडाइवर्सिटी के साथ जो सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट है उस आइडिया के साथ इंस्टॉलेशन करनी पड़ेगी और जो ग्रेट इंडियन बर्स्टेड जो एक क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज है उनको ध्यान में रखे ये सारे काम होने चाहिए अबाउट द ग्रेट इंडियन बर्स्टेड आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अवेयर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी इन योर सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन यू मस्ट है बट ब्रीफली द ग्रेट इंडियन बर्स्टेड एज अ लार्ज बर्ड फैमिली right and it's one of the heaviest flying bird in the world and uh, it's inhabited in the dry grassland and subland of indian subcontinent especially agar baat kare india mein to iski jo largest population hai wo state of rajasthan mein pai jati hai so if you are preparing for rajasthan public service commissions is tarah ke basic information aapke liye relevant ho now it's a common name is great indian bustard the scientific name is edorotis nigricepus and it's 2200 individual worldwide jo ki india mein 150 ke aas pass hai this is the height length or weight hoti hai karibban 15 se 18 kg this is listed on the schedule one of the wildlife protection act cms ke andar bhi rakha gaya that is conventions uh, sites critically endangered species hai iucn ke mutabik aur bhi bahut sare protection status diye gaye hain by the government of india so something very important that even a main question can be expected that how we can save and conserve the part of great indian bustard now moving to the other news china's defense budget are for the eighth consecutive year something important for general studies paper 2 that is the effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries on india's interest and in india's diaspora ke point of view se aap ise international relations khas kar ke un bachcho jinki psi ki optional hai ke liye kafi relevant recently china halved its defense budget that is 7.2% marginally higher than the year old that is 1.55 trillion yuan which is close to 2 to 4 billion dollars right and this is the eighth consecutive year that china has announced a single digit percentage point increase in its military budget so if you can see the country comparison the countries with the highest defense expenditure in military the first is the united states uske baad china then india russia united kingdom Saudi Arabia, Germany, and France. So these are the country, but US as US is drastically, you know, बहुत ही ज़्यादा उन्होंने अपने defence expenses पे किए. Now strengthening army is another important point. The China's armed forces with a focus on the goal of the sanitary, जो people liberation army है वहाँ पे, उसकी control और उसकी authorities को बढ़ाने के लिए, उसके power को augment करने के लिए, इस तरह के decision लिए. The armed forces would also intensify military training preparedness, develop 
न्यू मिलिट्री स्ट्रैटेजी गाइडेंस डिवोट ग्रेटर एनर्जी ट्रेनिंग एंड इवन जो कॉम्पैक्ट कंडीशन है वेल कनेक्टेड एंड स्ट्रेंद द मिलिट्री इन ऑल डायरेक्शन एंड द डोमेन वी हैव सीन द चाइनाज मिलिट्री एक्सपेंशन इन द लाइन ऑफ एक्चुअल कंट्रोल इन द ईस्टर्न लद्दाख रीजन और अगर वैतनाम की बात करें और भी ऐसे कंट्रीज है जहाँ पर उन्होंने एक्सपेंशन की बात की है चाइना इज द सेकेंड बिग स्पेंडर ऑफ द डिफेंस नेक्स टू द यू एस विच इज क्लोज टू दट एट वन सिक्स ना इंडिया के डिफेंस बजट की अगर बात करें द रिसेंट बजट द मिनिस्टर यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एज सेट दैट थर्टीन परसेंट तक की इंक्रीज की गई है विच इज फाइव पॉइंट नाइन फोर बट अगर एब्सलूट में देखें दिस नंबर इज ओनली सेवन परसेंट राइट विच इज क्लोज टू वन पॉइंट फाइव टू और सिक्स परसेंट की करेंट फिजिकल में रखी गई है एंड ऑफ वन पॉइंट सिक्स टू लैख करोड़ दैट हैज बीन एलोकेटेड कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर में परचेज फॉर न्यू वेपन एयरक्राफ्ट वॉरशिप हैज बिन गिवन फॉर द डिफिकल्टी एंड इवन जो डिफेंस बजट है इंडिया की उसको लेकर के भी काफी सवाल उठाए गए हैं हेल्थ सेक्टर्स में काफी कम है सो वेदर इट इज फीजिबल और नॉट इज डेफिनेटली इट फीजिबल फॉर कंट्री लाइक इंडिया विच हैज अ लार्ज पॉपुलेशन एंड कंसल्टिंग द सराउंडिंग फ्रॉम चाइना दिस वॉज इन एबल राइट सो फ्रॉम इंडिया पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू चाइना's defense budget continue to be over three times higher. India के compare करें अगर China से तो China की जो budget है वो three times higher है India से. Now roadmap: the China's military has embarked a massive military modernization program. वो US के तर्ज पे है, but उनको अभी US को basically you know if they want to cope up with the US, they have to spend more. US is far higher than China, and China has been ramping up the defense expenditure with the US and global influence. The Chinese Navy, the FAX expanding, and the Chinese military has now aircraft and aircraft forces continue to be modernized with a variety of jets, including the Seath jet fighters. Moving to the editorial of the day, at the hardship of a career in Ayurvedic practice, something important for Jana Studies paper two, and the subtopic that is issues related to development and management of education and human resources. so what is the area of discussion under this editorial first the theme is hardship in the career of ayurveda reason for skepticism kyu log ayurveda mein apni career pursue nahi kar rahe methodology of treatment kya hai ayurveda ki kis tarah se practitioners ki problems hain wo dekhenge and focus on the primary care now ayurveda ki agar baat kare ye ek holistic or natural treatment hai that has been practiced since the ancient time so it's not new it is like uh, very old which was practiced and the main aim was to provide treatment without harm to the human body most of the ayurveda graduates ki agar present mein baat kare the practice does not seem to be a feasible career options because unki recognitions logo ki trust and even the part of the livelihood option and the career opportunities that is there is very less despite publicity campaigns to promote ayurveda yoga yunani and siddha और हेमोपैथी जिसे टूगेदर आयुष भी कहते हैं डेडिकेटेड मिनिस्ट्री भी है इसके लिए बट इन फैक्ट देर इज अ ट्रस्ट डेफिसिट इन द सिस्टम एंड टू द पीपल आल्सो इवन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ड्यूरिंग द स्पीच हैज सेड इन द सिक्स वर्ल्ड आयुर्वेदा कांग्रेस दैट आयुर्वेदिक प्रैक्टिशनर्स को अभी भी वो रिस्पेक्ट या वो रिकॉग्निशन नहीं मिली है जो कि उन्हें मिलनी चाहिए सो दिस इज अगेन अ कंसर्न दैट इज कमिंग डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑल्सो ना रीजन फॉर एक्सपेक्टिज्म क्या ऐसी कारण है जिस वजह से आयुर्वेदिक प्रैक्टिसनर्स को या फिर लोग उनको इतनी रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं करते द वाइड स्पेक्टिज्म इन द पब्लिक माइंड इज अबाउट द साउंडनेस ऑफ द आयुर्वेदिक थ्योरीज एंड द फ्रूटफुलनेस इन दियर प्रैक्टिस नाउ द आयुर्वेदा स्टैब्लिश दैट इट हैज फेल टू कीप द पेस विद द इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड साइंटिफिक एडवांस ऑफ द टाइम जिस तरह से समय बदली है अकॉर्डिंग टू द नो द मॉडर्नाइजेशन द टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट एंड इवन द डिजीजेज दैट इज एडवांसिंग नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक कोविड नाइन्टीन तो उस चीज को कोप अप करने के लिए भी बहुत सारी चीजें नहीं है Now the archaic theory are opt arouse suspicions about the mind of the educated patient that peddle it to be the sophisticated dogmas. So, ये कुछ important concern है people के mind में भी और जो practitioners हैं उनके साथ भी because they are not able to establish the fact that how the Ayurveda can be game changer. See, Ayurveda takes time, but it has its own pros and cons, right? So, there's a major of reason that the trust deficit in Ayurveda and it has diminished the evidence based quality. मेथडोलॉजी ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट की अगर बात करें क्या मेथडोलॉजी यूज की जाती है आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट में तो आयुर्वेदिक साइंस बेसिकली बेस्ड है प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन बेटर देन क्योर हेयर द प्रिवेंशन पार्ट इज मोर एम्फेसाइज एंड आयुर्वेदा थ्रस्ट ऑन द पेशेंट नॉट मियरली ऑन द पेशेंट ग्रेटिफिकेशन सिर्फ इंडिविजुअल की पेशेंट्स की ग्रेटिफिकेशन के लिए नहीं बट उनके बेनिफिट के लिए काम करती है सस्टेनेबल ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट रिक्वायर्स अ ग्रेजुअल ट्रांजेशन फ्रॉम इलनेस 
and sudden relief deemed to be superficial and temporary in ayurveda a popular view of ayurveda treatment as slow to heal that's half of the truth and it is corrected that appropriate patient education is required and more advertisement and more awareness about the ayurveda should be there from the government end also now practitioner or drill ki agar baat kare kya aise problems hai jo practitioner ko face karni padti hai to jo bhi is field mein naye aate hain the novice ayurvedic practitioners who have to greeted with difficulties in the public perceptions because it says that take time they are not advancement in the medicine and there is something it mark more on the prevention part to logo ko immediate gratification chahiye jo ki ayurveda se possible nahi hai right given that ayurveda does not have a vibrant ecosystem for science and research ayurveda can be used as efficacy only for about 60 to 70% of primary illness jo rest hai baki ke 100% wo allopathic medicine se bhi ki jati hai the rest patient would uh, necessarily compensate ayurveda with the modern medicines and the most states have prohibited the practice of modern medicine by ayurveda graduates subsequently which has also resulted in the moral you know, depreciations or us wajah se bhi kafi zyada log isse ahat hain and they are actually not you know uh, invited for pursuing them so ek impression create ki gayi hai that these are the people that are only confined with specific practice and not for the other part they are also you know devoting same durations of studies jitne mbbs karte hain four year they are also doing four year but they are not allowed to practice the medical modern medical medicines now focus on primary care is very important aur is pe dhyan dene ki zarurat hai ye zarurat hai it's a die need to have an appropriate policy making to solve this problem well meaning ayurveda practitioner face and primary doctors are becoming more endangered in the healthcare system isko regenerate karne ki zarurat hai absolutely there is a necessary that we need to secure the healthcare of citizen providing awareness is very important that will have a positive impact of the mind in the society of an individual ayurveda graduate can contribute enormously towards the rejuvenating of training uh, pro- properly unko training jaane ki zarurat hai there should be an internship that should be provided and a mass campaign from government should also be there right appropriate policy making should also solve the problem and even the well meaning of ayurveda practitioner at the country uh, is facing jo quality talent pool produce ho rahi hai unhe hame use karne ki zarurat hai for the nation building also so this is how the primary focus should be provided moving to the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions so the first question the correct answer is a for second question the correct answer is b today's mcq for practice consider the following statement regarding the asia pacific border union it was established as a non profit organization and not profit professional association dudarshan and all india are the founding member of the organization so do check it out for the correct options Now the second question is with regards to OPEC Plus. Consider the following statement: It's the world's largest permanent endowment organization to coordinate with unified petroleum policies in member countries. The organization was funded by five countries, including India, in 1960. So you have to check for the correct option. If not, you can read more about the OPEC Plus as well. So this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis, followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, you can reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video